Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. First up, I'd like to apologise I'm a little bit dark in this room. Basically, the sun at the moment keeps going in and out and in and out. And this is the best kind of way for me to film this video with you being able to like see me, basically. Um, so apologise now if it is too dark for you or anything like that. Um, it's just better than me being blinded, basically, by the light. Um, for today's video, I'm going to be doing the Harry Potter tag for you. Harry Potter has been a massive part of my kind of teen life and also my life now. Um, I absolutely love everything Harry Potter. I'm a massive, massive fan of it and I wanted to do the Harry Potter tag. Now, if you search on YouTube the Harry Potter tag, it comes up with so many videos. There's so many different ones that you can pick, um, so many different tags that you can go for. But I basically picked one for me that was 13 questions long. Um, it's a really nice kind of short video for me to do and I really liked the style of questions that it had So I've got them on my laptop down here and I'm going to be reading them from here and answering them for you So question number one is favourite book My favourite book is the first book, The Philosopher's Stone or The Sorcerer's Stone depending on where you're from um, This book is the first one that kind of like, obviously the first one that I read It's the one that kind of really captivated me the one that made me want to continue reading. Um, I loved the storyline, I loved everything written in this book basically. So that's my favourite book. My second question is favourite movie. My favourite movie is The Order of Phoenix because I just absolutely love this movie. It's the one where there was so much like adventure happening and so much going on. All of my favourite characters seem to be in this movie like Lupin and Snape and stuff like that so it focused more kind of on the adults as well as the children I feel and I, I just absolutely love that movie. Number three is my least favourite book. My least favourite book was actually the second book. Um, I also just like the movie as well. Um, so when I was reading the first book I absolutely loved it and then when I got into the second book I was a bit like I'm not enjoying it as much so it kind of made me kind of dislike the second book and this like the movie as well. So number four, parts of the book's movie that made you cry. There are several things that made me cry throughout the Harry Potter movies um, and the books, mainly the death scenes. Um, the one that really got me was um, when Hermione had to erase her uh, family's memory of her and stuff like that. Um, the Dobby death scene and obviously the Snape one as well. Reading the Snape book, uh, reading about the Snape death in the book, honestly, like, crushed my heart like I absolutely hated it I remember reading it putting the book down after I'd read it and just refusing to pick it back up again and I just absolutely hated JK Rowling for doing it um, and then seeing it in the movie when I was at the cinema um, I didn't hold back I basically bawled my eyes out I just absolutely hate that death scene um, so number five if you could hook up with any HP character who would it be um, if I was going to hook up with anybody, I would probably go for one of the teachers, because I'm like 25, so I obviously wouldn't want to hook up with a student. Um, probably Professor Lupin, when he was Professor, obviously, um, when it's not like being a werewolf. Um, but I would have probably hooked up with him, obviously, before he died. Um, number six, favourite character. My favourite character is Professor Snape, or Severus Snape. Um, I just absolutely love him. When I read about him in the book, I was absolutely just captivated by him. I absolutely adored him. And then when he came on the um, TV screen and it was played by Alan Rickman, I just absolutely fell in love. I just absolutely love Snape. Um, I think it's number seven. What would your Patronus be? Um, I would have something really cute and little and shy. So something like a bunny rabbit um, or something like... I've always wanted to have a butterfly, but I don't think you can have a butterfly as a Patronus because I think it has to be an animal. Um, so probably a rabbit or a butterfly, you can have it. Number eight, if you could have the Resurrection Stone, Invisibility Cloak or the Elder Wand, which one would you choose? I would go for the Invisibility Cloak because I always feel like at certain moments of my life that I'd want to be invisible and I'd want to just kind of hide away from things. With my anxiety and everything, I'd want to have the cloak just to be able to hide, basically. Um, so next question, what house would you be in? I've actually done the online quiz and I got Gryffindor, but I would really want to be in something like Ravenclaw or Slytherin. I think those will be the best house for, houses for me. Um, if you could meet any member of the cast, who would it be? I would love to meet Emma Watson because I feel like she's grown up to be such a inspiring woman and she's just... Um, one person that you kind of like need to chat to I believe because she's got so many good kind of 
things to say and she's really inspiring to be around so I would definitely meet Emma Watson. Um, next question is have you played any of the video games? So I used to play the PlayStation game quite a lot. I also had on my Game Boy the little um, game that you could play as well. Um, I used to really enjoy those games. They were like one of my most uh, favourite to play as a kid. Um, not recently played any of the video games, not going to lie. I don't really like video games now that I'm an adult so I don't really play them. If you were on the Quidditch team, which position would you play? I would probably play the keeper because playing like sports and like football and stuff like that, I was always a goalkeeper and I, like that's my best position to be in. So I would be a keeper. Um, were you happy with the ending? Yes, I was happy with the ending. There was obviously a lot of deaths happening and obviously a few characters that I didn't want to kind of die and stuff like that. But I think that the ending was pretty damn good. Um, I feel like it kind of you know needed to happen in a way and this was the best route for the book to go down and also the movie obviously so I was happy with the ending but I just wasn't happy with a few one or two deaths mostly Snape's and the last question is how much does Harry Potter mean to you um I would say that Harry Potter means a lot to me throughout my teen years I kind of relied on the books and relied on the movies to get through um, a few things that were happening in my life it was a way for me to escape and a way for me to just kind of not have to deal with life and stuff like that and then you know kind of there's little things within the books and little things within the movie that kind of like really helped me so it does mean quite a lot to me Harry Potter but anyway this has been the Harry Potter tag if you did enjoy it then please give it a thumbs up don't forget to like and subscribe and share and all that jazz and I shall see you next time with another video and thanks for watching Bye!